Now, today we are, pre we are presenting the second part of our feature on Dr. James Obinsky, the former president of Médecins Sans Frontières, or Doctors Without Borders. A documentary film highlights Dr. Obinsky's humanitarian work in Africa. A word of warning, some of the scenes you're about to see are disturbing, are very disturbing. VOA's Carolyn Turner has more. Triage, Dr. James Urbinski's humanitarian dilemma, follows the Canadian doctor as he returns to Africa to write a book about his experiences there. Dr. Urbinski was one of the few Westerners providing aid in Rwanda during the 1994 genocide. He recalls one day of intense fighting in Kigali. One massacre survivor is obsessed with preserving the corpses of those killed. He lost all of his friends and family. I was overwhelmed by him and the corpses. The smell was, it literally <clears throat> becomes part of you. OK. Mm -hmm. You sure? Yeah. You want to go outside? Yeah. OK. It enters into you, into your clothes, into your hands, into your hair. It's OK. Yeah. And it is literally overwhelming. In 1999, Dr. Orbinski accepted the Nobel Peace Prize as president of Medicine Sans Frontiers. Today, he devotes himself to fundraising for Dignitas International, a humanitarian organization he founded. In an ideal world, there wouldn't be genocide, starvation, famine, and so on. The world is not ideal. If you want to try to genuinely change it, you have to do what's necessary. Film director Patrick Reed says the documentary presents a different view of the world. I think the film is trying to do and trying to say is it's not that easy, but just because it's not that easy doesn't mean you don't get involved. Because it is difficult is the reason to get involved. Dr. Orbinski says he was personally transformed by his time and work in Rwanda. Carolyn Turner, VOA News. Even painful to watch. For more information on these stories, go to voanews.com slash tv to Africa.